feel something building up inside me. I must prepare, I must get ready. Serving you, Yahweh, keeps me strong and steady for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Hey guys, give me a little sneak preview of my solar system. These three panels, I got to put three more up there. I do not recommend this to anybody else, but I used wood, and if you can see, it's white oak. And if you got to use wood, that's what to go with because it breaks down a single cell at a time. This is pine, and I'll just paint it, and it should be fine for several years. But you can see, I just took little L brackets. And screwed them right in. It's top two. All right. And then I have a frame going down and support going down, holding, keeping it from blowing back because it'll get the main portion of wind coming from the front because right in the back is the big massive greenhouse. This is the finished array. Of course, I can adjust it up and down for summer, fall, winter, and spring. It's fixing to be springtime, so I have it at 33 degrees. The crow's fighting the hawk. I built this box to house my inverter, inverters and batteries. And uh, right now I'm wiring it up, and you can see here. Hey, Dad! And it's helping me as always. Yeah, this is gonna be a little difficult, but to put in one of these ends on, they give you one of these pieces right here. And you just connect it like that, and then I have a special crimp tool, but it's not necessary. You can use something else. Make sure you have this on first. Try to back up some. Make sure you have this on first because this screws in. And once that's on, then you just slide that on and pop it on. It'll just pop on. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. There, see how it snapped in there. That's what you're looking for. And then just screw this on. Just like that. Then once that's together, then you can just connect up. Just like this. Until they clamp together. And then I take my other end and stick it through there. This is what all six of them look like. Coming in there. I put them in separate holes. I know I could have used less, but they're matched. See, like this first hole right here, the cords go right up to that panel. <laughs> so these six are my six panels one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Obvious thing to do, I think, right? This is the other side of the box. This side will be the batteries. This side will be the inverter. This is the battery side right here. I'm gonna put them in midair so that uh, they stay as cool as possible. This is gonna be my DC disconnect. Just a, a breaker there. This is my inverter. This is the Snidey Snyder. <laughs> Snyder. <laughs> Schneidy. This is the Snyder 40 24, which is 40 amps, 24 volts. And that's my charge controller. And I'm going to build a combiner box right up in there and send that to the charge control and then to the batteries. <laughs> You'll see it all as I do it. All right. I think that's it for today. After coming in, right here go over here 
and I needed a combiner box to combine all these to make them the same voltage. <coughs> Oop, throw down my little can. Oops. I took an old uh, can. Uh, I had to paint it because I had pagan holidays on it, but there we go. I made a little combiner box. I took some uh, on the top is all my positives and the bottoms negatives. Uh, I have to mark that in there. That would be a good idea. But I have PVC pipe. You see a little elbow that I attach through going to the case and it's the bus bar attached directly to the PVC pipe. And it doesn't get hot. It's pretty good. Right now I have uh Right now I have 34 volts coming through in this cloudy day. Right there. You can see I'm not getting any grounding, shorting coming from anywhere. There we go. Homemade combiner box. You can do it too. For under a dollar. Well, the best part has cost me $5 each, so I'm sorry. Under $11. Later, guys. Well, not later, but... But I'll continue. After we leave the combiner box, we go right down here to this... My Snyder Electronics 60 amp charge controller. See right there, there's you come in with a negative and positive wire, and you come out with a negative and positive wire. And from there, you go to the batteries in the battery bank. You back up. This is my battery bank box. a DC disconnect right there which uh, so I can disconnect the, the DC power to, at any time and it'll shut down the inverter from there but to make these 24 volts I went from the negative positive negative positive let me get closer negative positive negative Positive, negative, positive. Then we're all in series because these are six volt batteries, deep cycle. And then I have a negative which connects to that negative, and a positive which connects to that positive and goes up to this battery bank. So if you add these up, that's 6, 12, 18, 24 run in series and then I run the two banks in parallel to keep my 24 volts to the disconnect box from the disconnect box DC disconnect box we come right up here to where the batteries hook into the inverter and it's not very complicated this inverter isn't uh, that side is positive, this side is negative. Hook them up right. And once they're hooked up, and the inverter will make a noise, this one did, it went <laughs> And then I hit the enable inverter, and it went right to green. So everything was working properly. Solar panels are charging the batteries, and the inverter's providing me with electricity and right down here I'll show you in a second but there's a line one and line two that's for each side of your 120 amps and you can see right now I'm producing 239 238 Right, now let me show you the line one, line two, right in there. 
and if you had if you wanted to make this a grid tie you would come in on that side right there on line one and line two you connect right to there <clears throat> so the inverter would uh, also use the grid so this is a it can be a hybrid too and this is the whole thing I went I don't know if you can see underneath here but you see the conduit going out and it heads to my power box on the greenhouse which is powering the greenhouse and where we are staying so this is a simple DIY 1750 watt solar system any questions comments leave them below I thank y'all Ani Ove Ocho, which in Hebrew means I love you, and I hope everybody has a blessed day. Live in the way you meant for me to live is what I strive to do every day. As I live off the land, lead me at your pace for you. Lord, I'll go for green living. Help me to feed all the hungry. Use me, Lord, to ease their misery. From all this worldly pain and captivity. For you, Lord, I'll go for green living. I feel something building up inside me. <laughs> I must prepare. I must get ready Serving you, Yahweh Keeps me strong and steady For you, Lord, I'll go for me